This is your flipped lesson for our next uh, unit. It's to get us started, and the name of this unit is Waves. Um, we're going to be doing some different online activities this week um, in preparation for just understanding the basic uh, features of Waves. So uh, you're writing down everything that you see on the whiteboards behind me. First thing you need to know is that all waves are going to transmit energy. They don't move matter, they actually move energy. Okay? A wave gets created when a force creates a vibration. Um, and that could be anything from your vocal cords, which create sounds, to uh, light energy being transmitted. Here are some examples that we're going to talk about in this introduction. We're going to talk about light waves, sound waves, earthquake waves, and you'll sometimes see, see the word seismic. Um, used for earthquake, and then the electromagnetic spectrum. So let's get started with light waves. The first thing you need to know with light waves is there is no medium necessary. Now medium is fancy talk for a substance. What type of matter um, is it traveling through? Solid, liquid, or gas? So light waves, they don't need a medium, which means they can travel through empty space, which is called a vacuum. Um, and that's very important to know about light waves. Light waves are transverse waves, which means the energy is moving perpendicular to the wave movement. So the wave is actually going up and down like this. The energy is moving across like that. And here is a typical transverse wave um, and some key points that you're going to need to know parts of the wave. The highest point of the wave is known as the crest. The lowest point of the wave is known as a trough. Okay, so the difference between a crest and a trough. All right. The wavelength is the distance from one crest to the next crest, all right? And some wavelengths are very short, other wavelengths are very large. Amplitude is how tall is the wave. Now we have this starting line of zero. Amplitude is the height of this wave from that starting line to the crest, all right? One thing that people always mix up is they say amplitude is crest to trough, and that's not the case, all right? Amplitude is simply from our line of zero, which is my blue line here, to the top of uh, the crest. All right, sound waves are a little bit different. Uh, first of all, they have to have a medium in order to uh, travel. So there has to be solid, liquid, and gas available for them um, to move. And we're going to talk in depth which one of those mediums they travel the fastest through. All right, sound waves are different. They are longitudinal waves, all right, which means the wave and the energy is moving parallel to each other. All right, this is a transverse wave is up and down. These types of waves, longitudinal, are like a push, all right, back and forth uh, like a push. And in these waves, there are parts where there is compression, which means the wave is sort of squished together. And then there are parts that are called rarefaction, and that's where the wave actually will spread apart a little bit. We're going to look at pictures of what this, <clears throat> excuse me, of what compression and rarefaction looks like, and some video clips of what we mean by longitudinal. Okay, with sound waves, you could have a very high amplitude, which means the wave is very tall, or you can have low amplitude waves, which means the wave is sort of spread out. Notice the wavelength increases between these two sets of waves as well. The higher the amplitude of a sound wave, all right, the higher the volume. All right, the lower the amplitude, the lower the volume. Okay, but it's important to know sound waves cannot travel through space, all right, which is a vacuum. They have to have a medium present. <clears throat> the last kind we're going to talk about um, in this particular video is called the electromagnetic spectrum. All right, these two, there is no medium needed. All right, they can travel through empty space. All right, which means light waves are actually on the electromagnetic spectrum because light waves don't need a medium either. Some other examples of waves on this spectrum, x-rays, radio waves, and microwaves um, are all on this particular spectrum as well. All right, and this, it's actually a, a nice chart that we will take a look at, and they're organized by wavelength. Okay, so the distance from crest to crest, they're organized from greatest to smallest. Now, some things you're going to be doing once you finish this flip lesson. Um, you're going to do three different activities, and all of them are on Discovery Education, so you will have to log in. Remember, that's WCP and your student ID number, and then your password is your student ID number. All right, and you'll be doing them in this order. Catch a wave, energy transfer, and make in waves. You are going to want to dedicate a page to each of these. So the next blank page in your spiral notebook, go ahead and title it Catch a Wave. The next page, energy transfer, and then the third page, making waves. Okay, 
Um, and there will be instructions on my website for each of these where the link is uh, for these activities of what I need you to do on those pages in your spiral notebook.